dugongs, I would say they're not very pretty. They've got this chunky, fleshy face, yeah, and um, rotund, rounded body, and a forked tail, just like whales and dolphins. So dugongs live in shallow water habitats um, and in areas that have extensive seagrass beds because they are seagrass community specialists, so they feed on different types of seagrass. So dugongs in Malaysia are threatened with threats that we can see and threats that we cannot see. And threats that we can see like entanglement in fishing gear, lack of protection for seagrass habitats and threats that we cannot see are things like contaminants in the ecosystem, pollutants in, in the food source. The research is to help us develop a better idea of how these animals are using the area so that if we were to develop some sort of a extended protected area, then we can do it in a, in a way that would be beneficial to the dugongs, beneficial to the local community, to all stakeholders, that we're not just drawing circles around patches of seagrass. So the idea is that dugongs act as the flagship, as the mascot for conservation, for seagrass conservation, because seagrasses also play a very important role in the ecosystem. They purify the water, they stabilize the sediments, they act as an energy dissipator against natural disasters, so coastline protection. And um, seagrasses are home to a lot of marine life. Ocean science is important because we need to know what the issues are and to be able to use this information to better direct conservation and management efforts.